um, everything. <laughs> well, I think um, ours is, from what I can tell, the only one to really approach it as a as a relationship movie between these two people and as a real character movie first and foremost. Uh, that's how we wrote it, you know. Um, originally, I think uh, it's you know it's about these two guys trying to work out their problems as they be as they try to become superheroes. Um, and and to me, that's what was always interesting about the idea was kind of the dynamic between Brit and Cato. Uh, it's it's full of action and humor, and it's it's very uh, human, and it's visually like a sort of a mental Rubik's cube. There is there is this element that you don't see in the trailer, uh, which the way Seth Rogen solves uh, his relation with his deceased father, and mentally he's it's like a. Uh, Rubik's Cube, he, there is a lot of combination of flashbacks that interact to each other, with each other to create the solution. And that's pretty uh, original, I hope, I think so. I think it's uh, in, the, in the spirit of it. It's not your sleek, uh, pretentious superhero. Uh, it's not uh, uh, goofy at all. It's not commenting on the, on the genre. It's, it's like, uh, I try to make a real movie. Of course, they have to wear the mask, but except from that, everything is pretty normal. Me and Evan, as writers, try to be very collaborative and um, want the opinions of other people. So, you know, he's an Academy Award winning screen, screenwriter, so we would have been crazy to not invite him into the process and, and get as many ideas of, uh, as possible. And I think the three of us really formed a good team, and that I think is why the movie uh, is turning out good. Well, when we saw him in Inglorious Bastards, I mean, he was so scary, but he also had a, a really good sense of humor to him. And that is something we were looking for. You know, our villain is, is a little strange, and he's kind of having a mental breakdown throughout the movie as the Green Hornet grows more powerful, and his power is kind of diminished. So um, we thought he could be the perfect guy to kind of play with this scary yet, yet kind of funny idea that we were going for. That's a good question. Uh, I like uh, I like uh, Blade. The first Blade is pretty good. Uh, I like the the old Superman. Uh, I mean, it, I don't know. I mean, I like them all. I like the uh, the Spider Man. Uh, uh, Iron Man is pretty cool too. Good. The Dark Knight's pretty rad. It's hard to deny that that one's good. First Iron Man is pretty good, I think. Uh, yeah. I love Charlie Chaplin and I love as well uh, some French movie, uh, one called La Talente. My favorite movie of all time, probably The Big Lebowski by the Coen brothers. That's one of the funniest movies uh, ever made, I think. Yes, I love Fritz Lang. M, it's one of the best movies ever. In fact, there was a scene in the Grillonet and uh, I sort of goes inspired by M. Es ist rot. Stopp! Stopp! Die haben uns geblitzt. Wow, darf ich auch mal?